Hello everyone, my name is Rahul and welcome to my channel Rahul Kiva Labs. So in this tutorial, we will be learning about a small intro to waterfall model. So in software testing, we follow different kind of models like waterfall model, uh, spiral model, V model, uh, etc. So in this tutorial, we will go through some important points about uh, how the waterfall model works and how we can utilize it uh, in software testing and what are the disadvantages and advantages of waterfall model so let's start okay so what is waterfall model waterfall model is one of the oldest model in software development and it follows a specific sequence of activities and it is also called a sequential model sequential model why because there is a sequence of activities so one by one each of the activities needs to needs to get finished and then only we can move on to the next activity that is why it is called as a sequential model and another important thing is previous stage needs to get completed before moving to the next stage so let's see some factors for working under this model so important points to work in waterfall model the very first thing is requirements should be very clear beforehand because uh, once the requirements uh, discussion is done and they are freezed we cannot change the requirements so they have to be uh, cleared before getting into the requirement analysis then uh, next one we have the technology that should be understood very clearly so it's a static model where we cannot take uh, dynamic decisions so uh, at, uh, until the one stage is done uh, we cannot move on to the next stage and once the previous stage is finished we cannot take any decision to change anything in the previous stage so that is why it is said that we cannot take dynamic decisions. Uh, next point is like each stage should be completed as we move uh, to the next one and delivery documents should be complete at each stage. So in waterfall model after a stage finishes so there are some specific documents that uh, needs to be prepared and that becomes as an input for the next stage. So all the delivery documents should be complete and the next point that's what I said the output of one stage becomes the input for next one. So let's see the different phases in waterfall model. Okay, so these are the phases in uh, this particular model, the requirement gathering, then we have the analysis of the requirements, then the designing happens, uh, high level design, low level designing and documents, then the coding happens, testing, deployment and maintenance. So this is a general specific sequence that is followed in the waterfall model and uh, using this model uh, the software is developed and then finally it is delivered to the customers so obviously it has its pros and cons so let's see one by one what are the advantages and disadvantages of waterfall model okay so if i talk about the advantages so very first is the defined schedule for each stage so as i said that since it is a sequential model so each stage is defined and each stage has a particular timeline which has to finish in that particular time so that is the first point next one we have is the rigid workflow model where each phase is reviewed and has deliverables defined as i said that since it is a sequential model so at the end of each phase we have some delivery documents that needs to be completed and that becomes the input for the next stage so this model is suitable for small projects uh, if you are working on very big projects this model will not be a good option to choose uh, because a big project involves a lot of requirements and a lot of changes may happen which at the later stage cannot be done because since one of the stage gets finished we cannot make or do any changes in that previous stage uh, next one we have is the clear stage definitions so all the stages uh, definitions are clearly defined like requirement we have to do the take the requirements do analysis and then comes the designing designing then comes the testing so like that so all the stages are clearly defined uh, next one we have the tasks that can be arranged easily and milestones can be reached and the last one is designing paves way for good coding so obviously if your design is good enough so your coding will be better and better so these are some of the advantages of waterfall model let us see some disadvantages okay it's not suitable for complex and large projects as i said before then uh, frequent requirement changes 
are not good under this model and it's not feasible we don't change the requirement once it is freezed it is freezed we should not change those requirements and the final product comes very late so a small comparison we can take with the agile model like in today's world everything is agile so everything is moving towards the agile model so in uh, waterfall model the final product is coming after all the sequential stages are completed but in the agile model uh, uh, for example, if I take the example of a sprint, so sprint is of 15 days. So every 15 days, uh, we, the customer or the people get to see uh, how much the software is done and delivered uh, and developed, sorry. But here, we can only see the final software after all the ch stages are completed. Next is advantage is the high risk. So uh, this uh, model uh, paves way for high risk. Errors may may be found at the later stage which may lead to faults or failures and uh, ultimately it may uh, lead to you know the loss of the customers so next one is uh, no discussion on feedback as agile we don't have any uh, feedback kind of meetings as we have in agile like uh, retrospective meetings and uh, you know team feedback review meetings etc Next point we have is the change request. So change request cannot be accommodated once the stage completes. So we cannot do any changes in the previous stage once it is already approved. So requirements are freezed, we cannot do any changes. Testing is done, report is given, we cannot do any changes, etc. And the last one is higher uncertainty. So a lot of uncertainty in the particular waterfall model and that is not at all good for large projects. So this is uh, like a briefing or a short uh, description on the waterfall model. I hope you all uh, must have understood how a waterfall model works and how uh, we can leverage its use in uh, today's world. So nowadays very uh, less usage is there for the waterfall model. Most of the companies are uh, working on uh, the agile frameworks, agile models like Scrum or Kanban. So uh, that's it. So I hope you must have got some idea and if you have any doubts please put out a comment and I'll be happy to answer you. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like the video do subscribe and share my channel and keep learning in life. Thank you. Bye bye.